today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this look right here. This is a pink champagne makeup tutorial, so I have my pink champagne on hand. This is just a really soft, glam look that you can wear for a girl's night out when you're going to be consuming several glasses of this. So if you want to see how I got this pink champagne makeup look, keep watching. Hey everybody, let's get this pink champagne makeup look going, starting with a glass of bubbly. This is a sparkling rosé from Henkel, it's a favorite of mine, and a really great starter wine for your girls' night out. It's not too sweet, not too dry, it has some fruit on the palate as well as a nice aftertaste, and this is a fantastic value for the price. I got it for $14.99 at my local liquor store. First, I'm going to go in with primer. This is the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizer Primer. I talked about this in my Holy Grails video. I'm going to apply this to the areas of my face that are a little more oily, where foundation tends to break up throughout the day. So through my T-zone, nose, cheeks, and chin. Then I'm going to go in with Urban Decay Quick Fix and spray a bit of it on my cheeks for some extra hydration in my dry areas. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation and start pressing it into my skin with a damp beauty blender. I have to say I am so impressed with how this foundation has performed, being that it is from the drugstore. I am still trying it with different primers, but it is full coverage, which I need to cover the redness from my rosacea. And I find it is also very long wearing with a nice finish. To set my face, I'm first gonna go in with the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder in the shade Translucent Light and press that in with that same damp beauty blender in my problem areas where foundation tends to break up. So my chin, around my nose, under the eyes, and between my brows. Then I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder and set my whole face using the Morphe E3. Next, I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow Palette and use the bronzer to warm up my face. I'm going in with a Morphe M527 brush on the outer perimeter of my face from my temples down underneath my chin and just lightly buffing the bronzer into my skin. Then I'm going in with a Morphe M523 brush, which is a little smaller and more precise to carve out my cheekbone area. We're not doing any crazy contour or anything with this look as it's more of a soft glam. So we'll just go back in with the larger M527 brush and blend that in. Then going in with Becca Flower Child Blush and the Luxie Beauty 640 Tapered Brush, I am going to lightly sweep the blush onto my cheeks, on the apples, and then upwards towards my temples on top of the bronzer. Then using a Morphe E4, I am going to go over all of the bronzer and the blush on my cheeks in a circular motion to make sure it's all blended together and there are no harsh edges. Using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil, I'm going to go ahead and do my brows off camera because it's not interesting to watch and it takes me way too much time. Then I'm going to prime my lids with the Smashbox 24 Hour Photo Finish Eye Primer, rubbing this all over the lid, all the way up to the brow and down around the lower lash line and inner corner. This will help this eye look stay in place all night long. On the eyes, I'm first going to put down Blanc Type by MAC. This is just to cancel out any remaining discoloration on my eyes and provide a shadow that my other colors can easily blend with. I don't like to prime my eyes with concealer or foundation as I find those are heavy products that tend to cake on my lids over time. So a neutral shadow on top of the Smashbox Primer is what works best for me. Next, I'm going to go in with Scratch by Urban Decay. This is a light shimmery pink color, and with a Morphe M441 brush, just start slightly sweeping this into the crease. I'm going back and forth with windshield wiper motions and in circular motions to get this nicely buffed and blended out, so it provides a nice pink gradient when we go in with the darker shadows. Then I'm going to use the shade Bitten by Makeup Geek. This is a beautiful burgundy wine colored shadow. And for the first step with this, we're just going to lightly sweep it all throughout the crease. You have to be pretty light handed at first because the shadow is really pigmented. So you only need the slightest amount on the brush and then proceed to blend it out. Once I've deposited the shadow, I'm going to go in with a clean fluffy brush with no product on it at all and blend out scratch and bitten through the crease so there are no harsh lines. Next, using that same Bitten shade, I'm going to go in with the Morphe M433 brush, which is slightly denser and more precise, and pack the shadow onto the outer third of my lid. I'm concentrating the shadow by pushing it in at first and then blending it back and forth just on that outer lid area. Then I'll take the brush and kind of blend upward from there into the crease to meet the other colors. Once I'm happy with how much product is on, I'll go back in with the Morphe M441 and blend out the crease again to make sure there are no harsh lines. 
Then going in with the shade Aubergine by Anastasia Beverly Hills, I'm going to just take an angled brush and darken the lash line on the outer area of my lid just to intensify that area and give it a bit more depth. A little wine break and let's get back to business. Next going in with the star of the show, this is Pink Champagne by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I find this shadow is really pigmented on its own, but I am going to spritz my brush with a little bit of Fix Plus to really intensify this shadow to its maximum shimmery effect. I'm going to concentrate the product on the inner half of my lid, first by pressing it into the skin where I want it and then sweeping it outwards towards the outer half of my lid. A trick I like to use with foiled shadows is to put the shadow on the brush first and then spray with Fix Plus rather than the other way around as digging your shadow pan with a wet brush can pack down the product and make it difficult to work with. Once I've set that shadow down, I'm going to go back in with the Morphe M433 and a bit more of that Bitten shade and just blend out the outer third of the lid and the crease area to make sure there are no harsh lines, of course. Then I'm going to alternate between those two shadows just to get the desired depth and pigmentation that I want, blending all along the way. Taking a bit of both of those shadows, Bitten and Aubergine, I'm going to run an angled brush on the lower lash line about two thirds of the way. And then using a smaller pencil brush, this is the Morphe E18, blending out the lower lash line with scratch. Sorry for the ridiculous faces I make while doing this. Next, I'm going to take a matte shade. This is MAC Vanilla and highlight the brow bone. Because the lid is super shimmery, I'm taking the brow bone down a notch. And here I'm using the Ofra number 11 brush. Then I'm gonna go super ham in the inner corner. I'm gonna use MAC Nylon on a teeny little precision brush. This is the Morphe E36. And I'm gonna glam up that inner corner, blending it up into the pink champagne color and along the lower lash line. Then going in with the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper, I'm going to carefully press the side of the applicator into my lash line to create a thin line. Because this is a softer look, we're not going to do a wing or anything. This is just to darken up the lash line before we go in with false lashes. I'm also going to take a black pencil liner and lightly run it under my lower lash line and into my waterline, concentrating most of it on the outer corner. Then throwing on a coat of mascara, this is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise, which is crazy good. I'm going in with false lashes, so I'm not gonna put on too much mascara, just enough to darken and lengthen the upper lashes so they can blend with the false ones and fanning out and darkening the lower lashes. The lashes I'm going in with are the Kiss Lashes in the style 03. You can find these at the drugstore. I got mine at Walmart. These are very subtle and just provide like a feathery, wispy glam to the lash line, but you can go in with whatever style of lash you want, depending on what you're comfortable with. I like these because they just provide a bit of extra length and when put on top of lashes that have a good mascara on them, just adds a little extra zhuzh. Now to highlight, I'm going in with Bobbi Brown Highlighter in Pink Glow and just hitting the high points of my face with a Morphe M501 brush, the tops of my cheekbones, my cupid's bow, down the bridge of my nose, the tip of my nose, and my chin. This next step is not necessary, but if you're feeling super extra like I always am, go in with a little bit of matte glitter in the shade Reflex Pearl. First press some glitter glue onto the lid, I'm using the one by Too Faced, and then press the glitter over the pink champagne shadow to just add a little bit more glam. I love this glitter so much, it looks so beautiful layered over light colored shadows. I played with a couple different lip options for this look and waffled between liquid lipstick and gloss, but to keep it soft I ended up going in with the Kylie Cosmetics gloss in the shade Damn Gina. This is from the Coco Collection. It's a deeper shade of pink with some light shimmer in it, and it ended up pairing nicely with the eye look. I'm going to set this look in place with the Glam Glow Glow Setter Setting Spray. I love the smell of this one, by the way. And this look is complete. And that is it, you guys. That completes this look. Thank you so much for watching this video and thank you so much for all your positivity on my YouTube channel so far. It really means a lot to me and I'm really having fun doing this, so thank you so much. If you liked this video, please subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment down below on what kind of videos you want to see in the future. And if you didn't like this video, keep that shit to yourself. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Cheers.